Looking at graphs of the ideal gas equation. Now, almost always these are multiple choice questions. They ask you to identify the graph or identify the axis or the shape. They rarely ask you to uh, explain them, but I'll try and do that. So R is a constant, the gas constant, so we won't be looking at our graphs with that in it. And N is the number of moles. I can never remember them asking about N. So pressure versus temperature, directly proportional. Volume versus temperature, directly proportional. And pressure versus volume of an ideal gas is that curve there. So by proportional, I mean if you double one, the other one doubles. Triple one, the other one triples. But it only works if the temperature is in Kelvin. And inversely proportional, one goes up, the other goes down. All right then, so PV equals NRT, that's the ideal gas equation. We're looking at P and T. So that means that volume, number of moles, and gas constant, they're all going to be unchanging. I'm just looking at how P changes with T. Everything else I'm going to keep the same. So if I rearrange it, P over T is NRV, and that's going to be a constant. And R and V are all constants. It's going to be an unchanging number. You can also think about it as P is proportional to T. All right, then. I'm going to choose a constant. I'll say, I don't know, 4. So let me give some data here. 16 over 4 is 4. 8 over 2 is 4. 4 over 1 is 4. And 2 over a half is 4. OK, so that data fits with the equation. Let me graph this data. And it's a straight line. So pressure and temperature are directly proportional. One goes up, the other goes up by the same factor. So if you imagine a pressure cooker, which is a sealed saucepan, uh, sealed with a lid on top, the gas can't escape. The volume is indeed constant in this situation. Now the pressure is uh, to do with two things how much energy the gas particle hits the side with and how often the gas particle will hit the side of this container. So if I was to increase the temperature, well, you're giving the gas particles more energy, which means now they're going to hit the container walls with more energy and more often. So the pressure is going to go up and you can use a barometer to measure this uh, change in pressure. Volume versus temperature of a gas is much the same, that's directly proportional. So PV again is NRT, so I'm going to assume the pressure this time is constant, as well as the number of moles and the gas constant. So V over T is going to give me NR over P, and that's going to be a constant again. I'm not going to put the numbers in and draw the graph out, same old numbers. Now as you increase the temperature of the balloon, the pressure, you know, is going to increase. It's going to, the uh, particles of gas are going to hit the sides of the balloon more often and with greater energy. Now, I want the pressure to be constant, so the only way we can fix that is to increase the volume. So there'll be uh, less collisions per unit area. So that basically means you heat a balloon up, you double the temperature, you double the volume of the balloon. And pressure over volume. So we're going to keep the temperature the same as well as N and R, it's going to be constants again. So PV is going to be a constant. So the only way to fix that, so that P is inversely proportional to V, is as one goes up, the other must go down. I'm going to choose 16 as my constant. OK. So 16 times 1 is 16, 8 times 2 is 16, 4 times 4 is 16. Yes, PV is a constant. Plotting that data out gives me that curve line there. Make sure it has some totes. Let's imagine there's a, a young lady in a box there, and I'm going to keep the temperature the same. But as I decrease the volume of the box, the pressure is going to increase because now there's less area for those gas particles to hit against. So the pressure is going to consequently be increased because there are going to be more collisions per unit area. Again, this is probably more complicated than you need to know. You really just need to know the shape of the grass, judging on my past papers. The IB have set.